welcome to my channel Audrey aka Audrey Brown right here follow me at all my social media in the description box below today is retweet day if you haven't watched my lock wash day video please go ahead and wash it I'm gonna link it right up here or somewhere in the description box below thank you so much for being here and let's go um, usually after I wash my hair, my hair is still pretty damp, but to add some extra moisture, I usually go in with a mixture of rose water and aloe vera juice. Let me know if you want a specific video about all the older products that I use, all the oils that I use. I'll be more than happy to give you that content. And then... After that, I press it into my hair. I start my party. TheBomb.com, this right here. So I take this much. I used to use a lot, but I don't need that much. And it's just right there on the top. That's all that I need. To retwist my hair, I pretty much grab both ends of the lock, hold the root firmly, and just twist the lock around until it retightens the roots. And that's been working for me. I will do it again later to show you guys. And also as I retwist, I make sure I pop my locks because some strands tend to travel into other locks and then I have to place them back into the right lock. The twisting thing, I don't do that to my hair. I just roll it from the bottom because I don't want my locks to be smooth. I want them to do whatever they want. Let me know in the comments down below if you want a video on how I parted my hair specifically. I just can't make sure guys how much new growth I have. All of it is new growth and just this part. My hair has grown so much in just six months, and I know there's no way, being natural, my hair would have grown this much. So I am thankful for locks. I am loving it. It's like hitting the base of my neck right here. Ooh, it's over. Once I get. When I have any hair strands poking out of the lock, I just wrap them back around the lock using the two strand twist motion and it pretty much makes the hair stay in place. I apply on every line, I apply oil to my scalp and under the like lock, like I pull the new growth and I apply the oil under. Grab just a little bit, this much to all these locks. I add a little bit here and there, but just pretty much. And then I'll show you one more time on this side. I grab the new growth and then I twist the bottom just like this. I use to comb um, my roots. That's also what I used to, <clears throat> excuse me, take me way longer when I used to comb every root on every block. Because I have 
quite a number of likes. Let me know in the comments below if you want a love count video. I can do that for you guys, but yeah. And now I don't do it anymore because when I wash my hair, it pretty much detangles. So there's really no need to go in there with a comb. usually it takes me about 30 minutes to 45 minutes or so I like making sure my crooked middle part is as perfect as it can possibly be I have different way of doing it sometimes I start from the bottom up sometimes I do from the top going down but Okay, I'm gonna start from the bottom going up. I do the same thing that I do everywhere else. Let me put this away. And then I twist clockwise, I think. Yeah. And then I do the same thing that I do everywhere else. I hold the bottom and then I twist the end of the lock and then it comes pretty tight. And then I usually have this hair that I also try to wrap around because I don't like to see it just Hanging out. I finally made it to the front. Again, for the front, I usually want it as like neat as possible. This is the edges. I have tight 4A, 4B hair, so. And some 4C, obviously. But my curls are mostly 4A, 4B. So my edges are like stubborn as everything. So for me, my hair grows away from my locks. So a lot of time, there's a lot of, you know marrying and I have to be like really gentle about separating them and putting them into the respective law. So going from the back to the front, my locks get bigger for some reason. But I'm pretty sure for the most part when you look at my lock journey video they look pretty uniform but I don't know what's going on. They just do whatever they want to do. And I have a problem with that, so yeah. Hallelujah, I am finally done after two, no, as I said, one hour and 30 minutes. I usually let my hair air dry, it's like, 8 30. Uh, I'm pretty. 
I was staying for like about like one hour until like maybe 9.30 and take the clips out. Or maybe push it to like 10 when if it doesn't dry, probably just blow dry it and, and I'll show you guys what it looks like.